So I'm going to talk to you people about British wrestling. Yep, you heard that correctly. British wrestling. Now, this show, it usually does focus on WWE because that's mainly what I watch. But recently, I've been getting invested in the British wrestling scene, which has kind of exploded the last couple of years. Now, when I think of British wrestling, I conjure up giant men in their 40s running around on World of Sport or watching the shows at Butlings Holiday Resort with my nan, which was some of the best times of my childhood. Now, at the time, this was not what I was watching. I was watching the Attitude Era just explode on WWF. And I was watching these guys. It was insane. It was fun. But it wasn't quite the same as what I was used to. Even in the mid-2000s, I would see posters for local promotions with Shonky writing, they'd Photoshop some wrestler on it, uh, or even they'd have some terrible wrestler from America come over and tentpole their whole show around that. I mean, the whole poster would be just this one guy. Usually it's someone who was kicked out of WWE for being drunk or just generally crap. This is not the case anymore. Promotions such as ICW and Progress are giving us Attitude Era veterans content that we actually want to watch. Stuff that we grew up watching. Entertaining and rowdy wrestling, which harks back to the days when I would sit and watch WWF back in the day when I was a kid. British wrestling promotions are creating this atmosphere and these shows for an audience that the BAM of WWE are really largely ignoring due to the PG era, which we'll get to that in a different BTM. Especially stuff which includes Jimmy Havoc, which every match he has is a ballet of brutal. I've followed Progress Wrestling since its inception in 2012. As you can see, here's my t-shirt, which is pretty awesome when I got it from their show. It's been sold out in minutes and you just can never really get a ticket unless you're on their mailing list. Now I stumbled across an IPW match which I featured on my own channel and I was hooked the minute I walked into this sports hall and it had the geezers who I followed on Twitter for quite a long time and I watched them wrestle for the first time ever and it was absolutely brilliant. These guys really are the second coming of DX in my eyes. Upon arriving to chapter 22, because I knew the minute I watched this IPW show, I had to get myself down to progress and see what was going on. Finally, I got a ticket and I loved it. I, the minute I stepped in, the atmosphere was like stepping into the fabled ECW pack when it was gritty. The attitude era of just the beer was flowing and it was just so atmospheric. The main event was Will Ospreay versus Paul Robinson, and it is possibly one of the best matches I've seen in the last 10 years. It was just a high-flying, acrobatic masterclass. Now, Twitter is a light each week of what's going on in WWE and sometimes TNA, or what's not going on in TNA. But what I see as well is a groundswell of British talent coming up and making their mark known on the world stage. You had the British boot camp, you had the Battle of Los Angeles just a couple of weeks ago, and I think most of the card was British guys. Well, NXT may say the future is now for them, but Britain, right now, in the next couple of years, is going to be the best place to watch the best independent wrestling in the world. But that was me. But that's it for this week, folks. Hit that like and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.